Good morning. I'm off to uh, make some animal today. We're on a nice shiny leather bus where I'm already sliding down the seat. <laughs> We've come from our enamel workshop in um, IDP village, internally displaced people from the uh, south of the Setia region. I can't remember what the place is called, but I will put it somewhere. Good evening, it's Thursday and we have just got back from our enamel tour, which was it was very interesting. I was expecting to go to an enamel workshop somewhere in town, maybe in the old town, make some enamel, come back 10 till 1. We are learning this, this was not going to be 10 till 1. So in fact, actually the workshop was out at Chervé, Chervé, I'll put the caption somewhere, I mean I'll probably put it all already. It's an internally displaced persons camp for people who were kicked out of, I think it's kicked out is quite the right word, who used to live in the region that is currently called South Ossetia, which is occupied by Russia. Um, lots of displaced people camps around Georgia. This one is the biggest. It's got 2,002 houses, 9,000 inhabitants. It's got a school with 1,100 kids and a kindergarten of 250 small kids. It's got shops and hairdressers and banks and pharmacies and everything you can need. It's only about half an hour from Tbilisi, so it's uh, considered well, it's considered by the residents anyway to be the best camp in Georgia. And then it's not a camp, it's a village, they're not refugees. You will see it called a refugee camp. It's an internally displaced village, uh, internally displaced person village. It's full of houses. All the houses, when they were built um, for about 15 years ago, identical sort of pinky white houses with a red roof, two bedrooms, one living room. Um, but over the years people have built onto them once they realised that they weren't going anywhere. So some of them have got two storeys, lots of them have got extensions, porches, garages, extra bedrooms. And uh, yeah, they're, they're all laid out in a perfect grid which was apparently quite weird when they first moved in and now they find it quite weird when places aren't set out like that. So we did a um, enamel workshop. My arms are getting hurty. So the ladies there had pre-made the shapes and we just filled them in with the enamel after we'd, after we'd learned about all this uh, whole IDP situation and the Russian war and whatnot, which I really sound like I'm just skimming over. Anyway, we did our enamel, they baked, it's going to take a couple of days, they will get it to us by the end of the conference. Uh, had a little walk in the village and then there was time for lunch. We are getting used to the fact that there's a lunch. 
This lunch was in Mosqueta, which is the ancient capital of Georgia. Tbilisi was founded in the 5th century, so that's what I mean by ancient, before the 5th century. Um, big lunch, massive lunch, could have fed like 50 people instead of 11. And then we went to the cathedral, which is the most holy place in Georgia. They call it um, the Georgian Jerusalem. It's the cathedral of the holy pillar or something, because when they were building it, there was a pillar that the angels held up. Um, it's where Christ's robe is buried, um, possibly with George's saint. I, I missed a few of the details. We were whispering because, you know, you can't talk loudly and present in a cathedral. Um, but we did the cathedral, walked back through the village, and then back to Tbilisi. And I am... Oh, my arms hurt. Um, am I going to the sulphur bath tonight? I think I'm probably going to go to the sulphur bath tonight. I'm going to go down and see if I can get a room in the royal bathhouse. Trelly Barno is very nice, but I suspect you get more bang for your buck at some of the others. We're going to try out the royal bathhouse, and if they haven't got space, I'll go across to Gulo's and see how that goes. Um, so that was today in Amal, IDP Village, bathhouse, and uh, I'll see you in the morning. What are we doing tomorrow? We are going to uh, the cave town. I haven't quite figured out how to say it yet, but I'm hoping to find out tomorrow. So, uh, good night. And here we are. We have the finished piece at last. I say at last. It is now the 8th of November, and I got this on the Sunday while we were still in Tbilisi, which would have been something like the 4th of February. Anyway, uh, it came in this nice little bag. It was delivered straight to the hotel, delivered straight to the conference, and here it is. It's very pretty, it's very shiny. If up close you can see that it's, it's, you can see the layers underneath. It's been polished, it's got three or four layers of enamel in it. And it's really pretty. I think I may have not made a brilliant choice with the colours. But I don't particularly care, I think it's amazing, I love it. And uh, yeah, if you watch my previous video, the sulphur baths one, you'll see that I'm wearing it in that so oh, look at the shine on that.